Hello and welcome to another segment of Open House here at Community Media. This is a show that we invite wonderful people from the community into our studio so they could share about how they're making a difference for our area. Uh, we're talking about uh, the Hanover Chamber of Commerce today and we have Sarah Messer with us who is the president of the chamber. It's great to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for coming in here, Sarah. And uh, um, we met with uh, Jake. And wh what's Jake's title? Member and Community Relations Manager. It's Jake. Taylor. Taylor. Yes, and he's the face out in the community, making sure that the businesses have what they need day to day and having those conversations and recruitment and retention to build our network. And you call him CJ. <laughs> I heard CJ, I thought I saw. No. No, no, okay, I'm sorry. It's C. Jake. Yes, go C. Jake. Go C. Yeah, Jake. Yeah, there you go. You know, become a member, go C. Jake. And, and you used to make a great team. Well, thank you. Yeah, so um, Jake joined us in October. Um, I've been with the chamber for just about three years, new to my role as president, um, but we brought Jake on board in October, and he's been, he hit the ground running and building up our business network and engaging community players, so it's been a great partnership. Yeah, great partnership, and I know he brings a lot of uh, talent, skills, uh, very forth thinking in, in his approach and uh, um, your team is, is solid. I mean, the chamber are, you guys are doing some awesome things. Well, thank you, we think so. We have a great team. Um, there's, right now we have five of us. Um, we have four full-time members, but we also have a part-time member who is, she just finished her freshman year of college, so she just got back this past week, and she supports our marketing event coordination efforts. Um, Lola, she was a graduate of Hanover Public High School, um, so we're just, we're running full speed right now. We're preparing for our signature community events that are coming up right around the corner, um, and I appreciate those kind words. We, we hope that we're making a good impact. Yes, um, Hanover itself is changing. It is, absolutely. Hanover has really gone through a renaissance, I would say, in the last 10 to 15 years. Um, and that is from a no for a number of reasons. Um, you know, our downtown is revitalizing. We've got some great apartments, some great restaurants downtown. Um, but we've had a huge growth of the community as well. New residents, um, just wonderful businesses coming into the area, businesses that have been here for a long time expanding. So really exciting times in Hanover. Hanover is unique. It is. Snack town. Snack town. Um, but it has a rich history. It has a very rich history. Um, the chamber uh, has been around for almost uh, 101 years. Um, it's interesting because it's geographically located in two counties, technically. It covers 11 municipalities. And in that greater Hanover region, we have about 70,000 residents. Um, so that's a lot of people contributing to the fabric of the community who are not just living here, sleeping here, raising families here, but they're working here, they're bringing their talents here. Um, and that's what is really contributing to the constant growth that we are lucky enough to have in this area. And the fact that um, the individuals who've grown in, up in this area, um, who love this area, who have been shaped, their character has been shaped by, by um, the faith and the community in this area, that the fact that they stay here and that there's enough work for them to, to, to raise a family. Absolutely. So we have a ton of opportunities in our backyard, but we also have talent in our backyard. Our high schools are doing some really innovative work in preparing our students to take that next step, whether that's going to be college or whether that's a skilled trade. Um, just a couple, a mile up the road, we've got um, New Oxford High School. They have amazing programming to send students into welding, um, mechatronics careers, just to name two of the, I think, probably a dozen that they're working on. Um, Hanover High School, Southwestern, Dolone, Spring Grove, they all are really innovative. And they're 
supporting our industries directly. Um, they're willing to do whatever it takes to not only support the students, but provide support to our businesses that will ultimately allow our businesses to continue to grow and expand. Great educational opportunities in the high school, but there's also secondary at opportunities. Absolutely. Um, you know, in Adams County, we have Gettysburg College. We've got um, additional continuing education opportunities from HACC. We have York College just in York County on the other side of the road. So we really have access to so many um, outlets to continue our education. And doesn't the chamber offer some type of apprenticeship? So we have a couple of opportunities as well. So we were the first chamber in the state to be recognized as a group apprenticeship program. Um, that was done in 2017. So what that looks like is um, we are the sponsor recognized by the state. The state looks to us to make sure that um, our businesses and our trainers are adhering to the standards of apprenticeship. We can add new occupations. We actually just added our fourth with the um, automotive technician specialist. Um, we worked hand in hand with Hanover Auto team who really developed it from the ground up. They saw a need, they wanted to support the community and the um, auto industry, and they developed this program on their own. We worked with them for nearly 19 months to get it approved by the state, and that just happened last month. So we're really, really pleased with that. Um, but we can add multiple employers to our umbrella, and they register with us, they create their program as long as they're adhering to standards of apprenticeship and their training employees. The Hanover Auto? Hanover Auto team. So that's Nissan, Volkswagen, Toyota, uh, Mazda. I'm probably missing one, yeah. but. But they're very forward thinking. Absolutely. And very community minded. Yes. And as a chamber is also. Yes. You know, so uh, the chamber acts as a go-between, a conduit uh, uh, for our community. So, so you're not totally there for businesses. You're there to create a um, community that allows the citizens, the people, the neighbors to find their full potential. Absolutely. You know, it's a, it's a wonderful place to, as we had said, you know, live play, raise a family, but you can work here and you can contribute back to the community in a variety of ways. We have, um, as you mentioned, faith, so we have a lot of opportunities in churches. We have great nonprofits doing really, really important work. Um, there's so many ways to get involved. We've got um, great sports and local athletic teams for our kids to participate in. Um, and then, as we've said, the, the business, and you can really be involved in any, any industry. Yeah, and it's very important that businesses um, are connected to the community because they not only help create the tradition, the character, the uh, atmosphere of the community, but they're the ones that have the the um, potential to support those nonprofits that are serving the different areas of need in our community. They're the ones that have the potential to support the elements in our community that are providing opportunities for our youth. Yes. So that they can gain confidence and begin to know who they are and, and what skills and and maybe what their mission is here. Yeah, so I think you know one of the most important things that the Hanover Chamber can do is make connections, whether, like you just said, the businesses to the nonprofits and sponsorships and support, um, not just for a specific aspect of the work that those um, organizations are doing, but the general operating fund. Um, as we all know, it's expensive to hire um, and keep employees, and so just supporting that basic foundation of an organization is really, really important. And if we can, um, you know, m make people aware of that, um, then we're doing our job. So the Chamber provides networking opportunities, but they, they also um, provide opportunities for businesses to gain support, um, opportunities for businesses to actually develop their skills. Yes. Yes, uh, so actually um, one of your colleagues participated in our Leadership Hanover program. Leadership Hanover was started 
14 or 15 years ago. Um, it runs for six months, and it's um, an overview and an introduction, if you will, or reintroduction to various parts of the community, from quality of life and the important services and work done by our local um, fire and EMS and police stations to the work that are, as we said, 11 municipalities, those places all have to work together. So we want you to understand how that um, all happens. Um, our government, um, local, state, and federal officials who are advocating on our behalf, um, you know, that's one of the other things that we really like to um, make sure that we're doing is advocating on behalf of the businesses as well. Um, so uh, Leadership Hanover is a great opportunity to have, if you have employees from outside of the area coming to Hanover, or even if you grew up here, I, I did, and I went through the class about three years ago, and it's amazing what you learn, and I think I learn something new every year. But um, So that's a great chance. And then we do a number of educational opportunities beyond that. So we have Lunch and Learns. Um, most recently, we talked about changes in employee law. Um, we have another one coming up on uh, the things that you want to make sure you're including in your employee handbooks. Um, that's later on down the road. Um, beyond that, we do, like you said, networking opportunities. So just a mixer in the afternoon, a nice casual way for um, local business members to get together, introduce themselves, get to know one another. Um, We've got a lot going on. You do. <laughs> we do. And, and, you know, that's because you have individuals like Jake who is just more than capable. Absolutely. Of coming up with uh, not only maintaining what you have going on, but adding to it and making right. it a little bit better. The, the nice thing about the chamber, too, is that um, you make connections, but you also sponsor events so that the community has a, a chance to interact as a community. And those events are sponsored by businesses. They are. So um, Snacktown Street Fair is uh, probably our most well known. That's held every July. Um, we were just talking before we came up here today that we're out of space. We, we can't accept any more vendors. Um, so that's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of close to 300 vendors coming to downtown Hanover on July 13th. Um, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., and we've got a lot of really generous businesses who are helping to make that happen. Um, it is not a light lift to bring 12,000 people into downtown um, to coordinate 300 vendors, um, and those businesses, we really couldn't do it without them. Um, and so it's not only a chance for them to say, we want the community to come together, but we also have businesses participating throughout the day, and they just want to be there and meet the community. Um, and then, of course, we have all of the fun foods, food trucks, and arts and crafts, and kids' activities. And you have all the restaurants that's down and around the square, too. Absolutely. You know. Lots of restaurants, lots of other unique shops that are offering. Um, we've got Dog on Bees, and they've got great mead and honey. Um, so lots of things to check out all in that one day. And even if it isn't that day, which was called Snack, Snack Town Street Fair. Uh, it used to be the Dutch Festival. Oh, okay. Uh, but it has evolved, it, as, it, as things should, right? Right. Um, so it is a broader, we don't limit it to certain crafts. It's not limited okay. to right. anything. It, anyone who wants to participate is welcome to join us in downtown. It, it's, it's just about a cultural community celebration. It is. Cool. It is. A lot of fun. It's so much fun. It's a little warm, so I recommend extra water that day, but... It's well, worth it. And there are some breweries. I you was going to say, go there's, to some, well. there's some breweries that uh, you could always sit down and have some great food and, and drink also. Um, there is other events that uh, yes. the chamber has their energies uh, yes. making happen. Absolutely. So um, actually new this fall, we have Snacktown Fall Fest coming up on September 14th. Um, snacktownfallfest.com, same with street fairs, snacktownstreetfair.com, so you can find all of the details there. Um, but Snacktown Fall Fest is going to be another community event um, that's going to be held at Mal Field, and that is actually the host for 98.5's Battle of the Bands. 
So we're really excited to be bringing that to town. It's the 20th anniversary for that event, um, and we just can't wait to have them. That's all day, it's is it not? It's from 1 to 6 p.m. 1 to 6, okay. And uh, the bands are already chosen? That's not yet. So stay tuned for more details on that. Entries will be opening on June 1st. You'll enter through 98.5 um, Rocky and they will take all of the submissions and whittle it down to three um, to compete for the ultimate title of Battle of the, of Battle of the Bands winner. Uh, that is awesome, and what a great day that's gonna be. It's gonna be really fun. There's prize money involved and then the winner of that competition will actually be playing um, at another fabulous Hanover location, Iron Lion, at the markets at Hanover um, later on in the fall. Okay, Yeah. all right. Anything else that you'd like to share with events or? Oh man, um, you know, we really, it's like you said, we're, we're doing a lot. So we mm. have our legislative luncheons. Okay. Um, those topics change throughout the year. Um, we do four of those annually. Um, we have our golf outing coming up. We have three spaces left. So if you are interested in getting out for a nice day on the course on May 30th, reach out to Jake. Yes. <laughs> Uh, we're going to load Jake up. He's yeah. not going to have any time to do much of anything, and that's how he likes it. Uh, so if anybody's interested in knowing more about the chamber or becoming involved in the chamber, um, they could just go to your website. Absolutely. HanoverChamber.com. Um, we do have an office downtown at 40 York Street. Uh, we're usually there 9 to 5. That might flex a little bit if we have an event, but um, yes, we're always happy to have a conversation. Um, we're also happy to just be a resource. So if you're looking for recommendations or referrals to one of our local businesses, we're happy to make that introduction. So if someone uh, well, wanted to find a job in a certain occupation. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, reach out to us and we can certainly point you in the right direction. We also have a jobs board on our website. So if you are an employer looking for someone to fill a position, um, you can just add it. You don't have to log in. You don't have to be a member of the chamber. Um, it's one of our most popular, or highly trafficked pages. The Hanover Area Chamber of Commerce is an advocate you're an advocate for the businesses, you're an advocate for the community, you're an advocate for um, those who are part of the community. And you're also the advocate, f you're the advocate for uh, legislation um, improvements in the area. We try to be, certainly. Um, you, you know, we want to support our business community. We want to support the community and economic development in our area. Um, we are in such a unique location. How can we um, reach the needs of our friends in Adams County as well as reaching the needs of all of our um, members throughout York? Um, and how can we make connections with the organizations that are maybe uh, on the other side of York and on the other side of Adams County? So, um, you know, having those relationships and being able to relay what's happening in Hanover so that it makes it to Harrisburg or down to Washington, D.C. is really what we try to do. And what you were saying, Sarah, was um, one of your missions is to help foster nourish, support a safe, vibrant, and thriving community. Yes, and um, you know, we kind of talked about how we work with all of our nonprofits in the area who support those um, really vital services, um, but at the end of the day, we really need the community to come together to make that happen too. Um, and I say that because it's a shameless plug for volunteers, not just for us, but for all of the other organizations, for the schools. Um, when we work together, a lot of things can happen. Um, and I know time is precious, but it is so important to volunteer. Yeah, time is precious, but if you want to have precious time, you got to connect. Yes. You got to be true. active in your community. You got to be helping the young you know, find their potential. And, and in the midst of that, you find your potential. It's true, absolutely. And, and the chamber is a cornerstone of that. I certainly think so, for so, 101 years nearly. <laughs> yes. So, Sarah, three years ago you came to the chamber. I did. What was your impression? You know, I don't think that um, 
Chamber of Commerce is not something you're like leaving high school and say, I'm gonna go work for the chamber. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I had a lot to learn about how integral the chamber is to the community, not just the business community, but the entire community. Um, and it's just a really impressive organization. Um, you look around and we have industries from snack, snack town, uh, USA, we've got Uts, we've got Campbell's, we've got Hanover Foods. Um, then you look at Elsner Engineering, they're making parts for airplanes and um, Aqua Phoenix is um, just amazing. And that's three business, four businesses. So that doesn't even begin to scratch the surface of how dynamic our business community is and the services and um, what they provide to just everybody really, not just locally. Right, and the neat thing too is how local businesses are becoming more involved in high schools. Yes, you know? and that's really important. Um, you know, our students can hear about this job or another job, but unless they can see it in action and they can speak to somebody about the impact it's had on their lives, um, it's it's hard to keep that talent here, and we really want to do that. Um, so, as you can if you are an employer reach out to the chamber and we'll connect you with the schools that are looking for those opportunities for their students the schools are so flexible in working with our businesses and making it work for our students that it's it's really a great thing to see so you have me sold but why should i become a member of the chamber you know the chamber i've said it earlier we're really, we've got a dynamic community here. We're so unique, we're growing every day. Um, and we want to work on the community's behalf. We wanna be an advocate for you. We wanna make sure that those services that our nonprofits are providing stay. We want to continue to see growth in our residential areas, whether that's on York County side or Adams County side, we wanna support our students. And um, you know, we need the support to do that. And if we can help your business um, thrive and grow and provide jobs to the community, then ultimately we're making the entire community better. That is awesome. And you know, Sarah, I had a great question for you, but I forgot it. <laughs> so um, the, the chamber um, does awesome work in the community. Um, is there anything that you would like to say as closing and, and maybe that that thought will come back? Sure. I yeah, Hopefully it does. Yes. Um, well, obviously, I'll give another plug for our golf outing on, on May 30th, our street fair on July 13th, um, HanoverChamber.com for jobs, community events. Um, I totally forgot to talk about Discover Hanover, which is our tourism and community guide, um, but that's a fabulous resource. Mm -hmm. um, no charge for that. Um, it's got a website, discoverhanoverpa.org. And um, finally, thank you for the work that you do. I've mentioned nonprofits and really, community media is one of those integral pieces to our community. The work that you're doing is bringing awareness to so many people. If you're not getting the newspaper, hopefully they're finding you elsewhere on their Roku's and everywhere else. So mm -hmm. thank you for your dedication to the community because we we wouldn't be able to get this message out there and so many other people rely on you as well. So well, thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, thanks so much for noticing that and saying that because Community media is, is um, always behind the scene, right. capturing the scene, promoting the scene, and uh, we love the community. Um, it's, it's, it's the closest thing to our hearts. And um, we just love the growth that we were able to have in the recent years. Do the businesses come forth and, and helping us? And we, you know, our vision for, for uh, uh, just celebrating who we are and what we do is relentless, you know. And we, we yeah, we share that with the chamber, and um, um, we're looking forward to the relationship that that we're forming uh, between community media and the chamber. Um, but you know, you mentioned tourism. 
Yes. You know, you have Gettysburg now. People go to Gettysburg. Now, what does Hanover have to offer in tourism? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so let's just start with downtown. If you are a craft beer lover, you're going to have five breweries all within the downtown. And you can walk around with those and then go visit our wonderful merchants in the various shops. Um, but we have such a rich history, too. Battle of Hanover actually coming up June 30th. Um, that's the celebration for the Battle of Hanover, obviously leading right up to the Civil War, or to the Gettysburg Battle. Um, and we are just a short 13 miles away in Hanover. So you can spend the weekend in Gettysburg and then come visit us in Hanover and learn about that battle that led up to those other three days. Um, and then we also have a wonderful museum that the Hanover Area Historical Society has curated over the last four years. Um, that's just worth a trip. I mean, it's beautiful. It's in an old carriage house um, and really showcases the players who made com Hanover a community many, many years ago. And as you say, you know, it's the Hanover, Hanover Chamber of Commerce, but you include a larger area. There's people from New Oxford who's part of the Absolutely. chamber. Absolutely. There's people from Stru Strewsbury? Yes, we have members uh, down in Maryland. We've got members up in Harrisburg. Um, and, you know, they are doing business in Hanover or hoping to expand their business in Hanover. Um, and then, you know, we also have, um, like, Utz is a very large companies, as is Campbell's and a number of other businesses. They've all got people coming to town to visit and do their work here Monday through Friday. And we have a lot of um, opportunities for them to learn more about the area, enjoy some great food, good people. And what we didn't mention is the surrounding area, the the land, the, the farms, the uh, Hanover Shoe Horse Farms. Yes. Cadoris. Um, the rail know, trail the, mm -hmm. um, that is, you know, expanding. We actually just um, participated in a ribbon cutting in Spring Grove. We're working on getting that fully connected over the next few years. So um, another thing, if you're interested in getting outside, volunteering your time, they are a wonderful organization that's really promoting outdoor um, activities. And you, you look for volunteers? Yes, we do. The chamber? Absolutely, we do. So especially for our community events, um, it takes, we're, as I said, an office of four in the summertime, five, and it takes a lot of people to organize street fair, our golf outings, um, and just to be a chamber champion, you know, the more that we can talk about the chamber and what we do and um, bring awareness to the local business community, whether you are a sole entrepreneur or a multi-layer um, company all over the country, we're here to A chamber champion. You. Yeah. There you go. That's what we need. Okay. I know you already said something to everybody as a closure, and I just keep on talking to you, Sarah. That's okay. I can do it too, all day. <laughs> okay. Uh, I grew up in McSherry's town, you know, so um, am I more of a Hanoverian or a Gettysburgian or a McSherry's townian? Um, you know, there's Hanover, there's York, there's Adams County. Do you see that dynamic? How would you explain that dynamic? Um, that's an interesting question. At the end of the day, I grew up in New Oxford. I went to school in McSherry's Town. My grandmother lived on Clearview Road in Hanover. Um, so I think that you know, going back to that unique geographic area, 11 municipalities, I think that you're from Hanover, even if you're just from a little outside of Hanover or um, yeah, I think that there's no line there. I like to think at least. Mm -hmm. My parents worked in Hanover. Yeah. So, Sarah, thank you so much for thank coming you. in and sharing all the wonderful news that the, the chamber is doing, but more so, um, why should someone become a member? I mean, you, you mentioned already um, all the benefits, and it all boils down to... Uh, creating the best community right. that we can create where where people feel safe, thriving, and, and vibrant, and that 
we're advocating for each other to, to find each other's potential. Yes. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank and you. Um, as I said, you know, we're here as a resource. Um, however we can support the businesses in the area, which ultimately leads to the greater community, we're happy to do it. Um, we have marketing and sponsorship opportunities too. So Jake marketing is so sponsorship? happy. Mar marketing and sponsorship opportunities. So wow. we can help get your name out there a little bit too. Yep. And, and if someone is thinking about having a business, we can point you to a number of resources. Um, we are not the experts in starting a business, um, but we will put you. But in you the, know the experts. We do. Yes. We yes. do. Okay. Well, thanks so much for watching this segment of Open House. Here we had a, a wonderful time with Sarah Messinger, and um, she is the president of the Hanover Area Chamber of Commerce. And um, until we have our next show where we bring another fantastic individual in here to the studio, be kind, stay healthy, and remember, you are the best. Mm -hmm.